<laughs> this is so cool. So this is Taco Tuesday Girl. Hey, I know her. Yeah. Um. This is not boring. Um. I agree with that. Um. My. Long form, unedited conversation. I love it. Okay, welcome back to Insanely Chill. Um, it's been a minute. It's been, uh, let's check here. Another channel. Four years. Oh, wow. Four years since the last episode. Sorry for the hiatus. Um, you know, it's just been busy. <laughs> a lot of stuff going on, so kind of just forgot. But it's back. Uh, feels good to be back. Um, now, why? Why is it back? You might be asking. Well, because it's because I seem to have a fetish for doing as many things as I can at the same time and doing them all very mediocrely. I like to pick, I like to do a lot of things and be very average at a lot of things. But as long as I'm doing a lot of things at the same time, then I'm happy. But I'm not. I'm stressed. So I don't know. No, there is a reason, actually. I, um, Well, I mean, I will address the first question. I already saw some comments on the teaser of people being like, does this mean TMG is ending? No. No, it's not. I still love doing that show. We got some great things coming up on that show. We're working as hard as ever on TMG. And... Uh, and I still remain very proud of that show and everything. Um, I did feel like I, maybe I wanted a longer form medium to talk about more things that I'm focusing on right now at this point in my life. I'd like to gear the show a little bit towards, a little bit more towards maybe athletic stuff, athletic endeavors, training, and maybe business. Talking to, talking about I, I don't know, interviewing people um, more, and that's in that world and in that context so i thought it'd be fun to you know build a little set and kind of start this up just like a like softly kind of soft launch it and we'll do it every couple weeks you know anytime i have someone cool i want to talk to or something that's going on in my life that i want to talk about i'll pop on here and talk to myself just like i used to you know, a lot of people, I, I also saw some comments from people being like, oh, it's all overproduced now. You're right. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This, I, I mean, it is just going to, it is a little bit more produced. I will give you that. All right. We do have a new set. We got the mics and stuff like that. But, you know, I also have a podcast production company, so it makes sense that I would have the resources to do something like this. And it also benefits the company that, you know, to have another show uh, on the roster. So, I mean, that's why this all looks like and feels like this. But I want to make this feel like it used to feel as much as I can. Of course, there'll be episodes that'll be that'll be different if I have a guest or, you know, if we got a little crew here. Uh, we got Kenny, we got Ryan, we got Zach. Um so they're going to be hanging out here too, and I want to make this a little bit more of an intimate, like fun, just kind of hangout sesh sometimes. So, yeah, that's that. Um, thanks for tuning in. We got a fun episode planned today. Uh, I'm having my, um, I will say, I'm going to say it like this, because I want to say it like the first time that I ever said this on Insanely Chill. I'm being joined today by my girlfriend. I think that was the, back then, that was the first time I ever said that on the internet. Um, now, of course, she's my fiance. You know her as Kelsey Kreppel. That felt fucking weird saying her full name like that. <laughs> Why did I say that? You know when your like, significant other says your full name and you're like, what the fuck is wrong with you and sometimes i'll do it too it's like we're not even fighting or whatever i'll just be like kelsey and she'll be like whoa whoa whoa, whoa. why'd you say it like that and i'll be like, i don't know i don't know why i said your name i have no idea it's like something's off you know right it's always like the pet names is babe um little little um little squirt 
and squirt. She goes, <laughs> that's a classic. <laughs> 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 little dumper. Yeah, little dumper. Yeah, that's what. Is that what your girlfriend calls you, or do you yeah. call her little dumper? I uh, I get called that. I got a fat ass. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, Tony Pizza, another one. <laughs> um, yeah. So my fiance Kelsey Kreppel is uh, coming on, and she is here. No, she's not. She's still getting ready. Classic. <laughs> but before she gets here, I also just I've realized I forgot I uh, dropped this shirt today, and I was supposed to be wearing it the whole time, but I fucking totally forgot so i'm gonna put it on right now please blur my boobs there we go folks how sick is this shirt it's, it's so fucking sad. sick right this is all puff print right where do you here go to get one of those what Amazing. where do you go to get one? Oh, they're sold out sorry <laughs> okay, <I get> <laughs> that's the only one <laughs> yeah yeah code-official.com for an insanely chill shirt uh this is the first merch i think i've ever done for this show and so i figured first ne- first episode back we got to do, we got to, we got to do something. Actually, they drafted this up, the shirt. I don't even know. Like, I think Ben from my merch company, like just sent me this and I was like, this is fucking incredible. We have to put this out. I think it's like one of the, my favorite shirts I've ever done. Yeah. Jim killed the logo. Yeah, awesome. he really did. Yeah. And this is Jim that did the logo. So creds to them. Uh, just incredible stuff. So yeah, there's this. And then I think there's also another, there's like a crew neck or a hoodie and a hat or a beanie or something like that. So uh, go to co-official.com if you want to grab one of these uh, to celebrate the relaunch of America's Most Average Podcast. (laughs) And now, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to introduce my guest. It is my girlfriend, my fiance, Kelsey. Come on in. Woo! Thank you so much. Here we are. I kind of want a shirt. Do you? Yeah. Do you want to wear one? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Okay. I'll just pop it on over this one. Wow, this looks great. Hey, look at that turtle. That's a uh, uh, taxidermied ninja. Yeah. It's really scary. <laughs> we can have that removed if you want. No, it's okay. Okay. Is, isn't that fucking horrifying? <laughs> <laughs> that is a real turtle we're probably gonna get canceled for that <laughs> probably <laughs> that sucks man it's rough that's rough she's got one of each color and i think i'm her first sale that is so it's sad anyway hi everyone so i also i also for the shelves just while we're talking about it i also got this book called great women artists but like for some reason stylistically they cross the women out <laughs> So it looks like it's like an anti-women book. No, it does not. <laughs> like great, great artist. Fuck the woman. No. Doesn't it look like that? No, it's saying. Do you know what it's saying? Oh, it's saying like you don't need the woman. It's just great artists. Exactly. So men. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so happy to be here, you guys. Thank yeah, you for yeah, having I'm me. Kidding. No, I'm kidding. I do really like that book though, and I like that one. And we did a decent job Ooh, with the shelves. It looks shelves. awesome. That's Jared Goff. You guys should take the paper yeah <laughs> plastic off. We haven't got this is the first episode. Sorry. We haven't gotten there yet. Happy to be here. <laughs> and that's us right there. Aw, and the lizard. <laughs> that's us and the lizard. This is before we had the cats, and we had the lizard. Mm-hmm. R.I.P. I'm kidding. He didn't Still die. Alive. Um, but this is uh, I mean, maybe I'll just tell. I mean, I'm I'm a little bit uh, hesitant to to tell this story because I don't want anyone sending anything okay. here. But th- we just got that randomly in the mail. Some fan just sent that to our house. To our house, we got that in the mail. I mean, it's a beautiful it's piece. Beautiful. It's, I mean, it's, it's hanging up. I don't even know how someone would make that. Like, what art form is this? I don't know. It's not like knitting. It's what is it? Right. It's is like that, a three D picture of us. Is that called made with fabric? Crochet. I don't know. No, that's oh. crocheting, I don't think. Unless it's another form of it. I have no idea what it is. But it's like kind of beautiful. But but that being said, do not send anything Please. to this house. It's very scary when that happens. A little bit unnerving. <laughs> it's so unnerving. We have not told anyone our address publicly, Especially- so I don't know how it gets out there. Yeah. 
But thank you for the art. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having on episode me. How one. does it look? I I just It looks really good. It could have been steamed. I could have steamed these, make them look a little bit better, but it's sick, right? Do you like yeah, the shirt? I love it. The puff print is so good. And that's not just <clears> me <throat> trying to sell it. That's just like I legitimately love this no, shirt. No, I saw you quality. wearing it and I was like, I want one of those. Yeah. So it's been four years. Four years. So, well, we've been together for five years now. Yeah. But our first podcast episode together on Insanely Chill was four years ago, right? Probably probably right around five right now, I feel like. What well, day is it? Uh, September 28th. Mm. It's probably right around five, I feel like. Yeah. Which is pretty crazy. It is pretty crazy. And I have a bunch of clips. I thought it'd be fun today for us to just like watch... And react to the old clips of us. Mm -hmm. um, just like when we first started doing this together. But first, before we do that. Wait, time out. Actually, yeah. before we do that. Okay. I have a question. Hold on. Before we do that. <laughs> I'm going to answer your question. Awesome. Okay. Did you introduce me as your girlfriend because the first time you introduced me? Or was that that you actually forgot that I was your fiance? <laughs> yeah, I didn't forget that you were my fiance. I'm just wondering. Sometimes I say like, oh, my boyfriend. And then I'm like. I'm serious. What the hell? Remember that time I introduced you as my husband? Yeah. Wait, when was in that? In Hawaii? Yeah. I said, this is my husband, Cody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then it was... I liked... I, I didn't liked mind it. It had, had a nice ring to it. Um, I do like... I want to say my wife. It's so much easier than fiance. Like, when I say fiance, I sound like I'm cosplaying as, like, a French guy. Yeah. You know? Ah, yeah. oh, me fiance. Ah, oh, me, I'm a fiance. You know? Uh -huh. I want to say my wife. You can say either one. My wife. It's just easier. Okay. Well, soon enough. My, me and my fiance. Yeah. You know? It's kind of weird. You're right. It's just harder. It's like, like I it said, like roll nine syllables. Top. Yeah. Um, okay. So anyways, anyway, I want to talk about, I want to talk about just briefly mm -hmm. about the video that we tried to film yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to start just by saying I feel really bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The idea, can I just explain the idea first? The idea. Well, can we explain the initial idea that we discussed on the couch that was like supposed to be fun? What, yeah, what did I tell you? Well, remember we came up with it together. I was like, oh, I don't really know what AI is because it kind of freaks me out. So like maybe <laughs> you could teach me what it is and we could like like learn about it together. <laughs> and that to me was, was <laughs> okay, I'm going to call this video, You Get Scared, You Lose. And I'm going to show her the most horrifying AI images that have ever been created. Yeah. And I'm talking like, I don't think I'm ever even going to use this footage because it's really sad because she eventually like cries. Yeah. Oh. I did. I know. I, start crying. I felt so fucking bad. But go to, <laughs> go to, um, what's the nightmare subreddit? It's like a uh -oh. synthetic nightmare. No, this isn't what and got go to, me. I know, no, but I just want to show this one because this will get the average person. Okay. This is a scary ass. This just go to top, like sort top by all time or whatever. Yeah. And we'll just, See what you guys think of this. There that it is. One. Yeah, right? That looks like Insanely Chill's mascot. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, that didn't bother me. You get a taxidermy version of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one didn't bother me, though. This no. one didn't get you? No. That yeah, I, that, I was surprised by that. So I started with this one. It didn't get her. She was like, oh, that one's not that bad. So then I was like, okay, we got to amp it up a little bit. And then it kind it's of my fault that it, I got super scared. And then I what did you say? And then yeah, it's my fault that I got super scared. No, I just to me while we were filming, I was like, okay, well that means there's yeah, like yeah. there's more room, there's right. more wiggle room here. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be more fun than I thought. Right. She hasn't cried yet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then it became basically me showing her lobe, which was like that, you know, that story about the guy who did the reverse prompt in the AI and it created this woman that kind of stayed with. I don't See it. Yeah, yeah oh, don't I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my bad. <laughs> I'm gonna cry again. I'm explaining about how this scarred her, and you're like, oh, let me pull it up. Pull it up on the screen. I got producer brain, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lobe. You mean this I have been girl trained. Right here? <laughs> <laughs> I have been trained to dictate and type whatever you say. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, ExpressVPN. Huge tech companies in America pay next to nothing in taxes, meaning they barely give anything back to the society that made them rich. They may not do a lot of giving, but they sure do a lot of taking. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking, of course, about how these tech companies enrich themselves by taking your personal data. They grab your web history, email metadata, and video searches to create a detailed profile on you, and they sell that off to the highest bidder. Companies aren't just selling products anymore. They're selling you. You have become the product. To protect your identity and data from these tech giants, I recommend using ExpressVPN every time you go online. ExpressVPN makes you anonymous online by camouflaging your IP address and replacing it with a different secure IP of your choice. And what I like most about ExpressVPN is how easy it is to use. Just download the app on your phone or computer, tap one button, and you're protected. So if you're like me and you believe your internet data belongs to you and not greedy corporations, then ExpressVPN is the answer. Protect your data with the number one rated VPN provider today. Visit expressvpn.com slash insane to get three months free on a one-year package. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash insane. Expressvpn.com slash insane to learn more. So I brought that up and it became sort of like an existential crisis about AI and the power of AI. Because I also brought up articles about like that were titled AI is going to destroy humankind and all this stuff. And uh, eventually it just became like, a, oh, I'm really scared about the future. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'm really sorry. I, I don't know what, el- what other outcome there would be from this. And like, he I'm- like made us into AI. I don't even know what that means. But we were there and then I was like, I don't want to be in the universe. And I was like freaking out, crying. And then he left to do the podcast. I, I know. And so that that's like the 30 minute window that we had to film. So then so then she's like crying. I'm like, I stopped the thing. I'm like, oh God, I'm so sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I didn't mean this went horribly. I wasn't like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like cute tears. It was. I mean, but like, like it wasn't like, no, but, but you, it was still really, I was definitely, not. I could tell you were like, a, you were scared. For it was sure. Like, I, I was pretty shaken up about the whole which, thing. How else would you feel about that? It's like, here are the most horrifying parts of this technology <laughs> that's going to take over the world. It's, I know. I'm sorry. I did it again. <laughs> And all year, and you're just thinking like, I just want to like live in this world and be happy. And I was like, I know, I'm really sorry. I don't know why I'm showing you this horribly dark shit. And then I was like, and I have to go. It was- so then she's just sitting inside alone. So I, I want to apologize for Thank that. Thank you. It's okay. I'm sorry for scarring you. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I forgot about it until now. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. For no, I'm just re- kidding. I haven't stopped thinking about it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for rehashing it again. But I thought it would be funny again to talk about it, but maybe I was wrong. No, it is funny. Um, it was hilarious. I loved Loeb. Okay, good. Yeah, she's kind of cute. All right, we can move on. I'm getting scared again. Okay. Now we got clips from, uh, this is, you know, old insanely chill clips that I want to go through. Let's just start with the first one. And this, Ken, you said this like gives context to the whole thing? Yeah, so this is you, Solo, talking about the famous Taco Tuesday night that you had to prep for and you're really stressing out about it. Um, I've noticed that on dating apps, I don't know if you're on Tinder, Bumble, whatever, if a girl starts the conversation, there's like a 60% chance, and it's on a Tuesday, okay? So, girl starts, you match with a girl, she starts the conversation, and it's on a Tuesday. There's about a 65 to 70% chance she'll say happy Taco Tuesday. Swear to God. Swear to God. Let me pause it. Look at the... So you thought it was a good idea to start with, with me talking to other girls. I I mean we're past this, right? <laughs> yeah, we're past. <laughs> well, this this adds context one. for later. Yeah, okay. It adds context. Okay. I know exactly what Kenny's doing. Yeah, now I'm in the doghouse. I'm house. kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Welcome to my world, Kenny. <laughs> this feels like an AI world for me. Even. Anyway, this is Taco Tuesday is tonight, and um. Somehow I'm hosting it. I don't know. I, we're, we've started doing these weekly things where we do Taco Tuesday. Actually, it started last week, so I guess it's not really weekly. Um, it's weekly now. Well, it's only been one week, so as after tonight, it will be weekly. Um, Taco Tuesday, where we get together and whoever's hosting cooks up some tacos and, uh, you know, drink a few cervezas. Um, I hate this. And I'm <laughs> I hate this so much. I don't know how I. I don't know how this happened. I don't because I'm so not prepared to host a Taco Tuesday with like twelve people. I okay. gotta cook. I gotta cook. They're expecting me to cook the whole fucking thing. 
Do I talk about her in this one? I don't one? know how to yes, cook for 10 funny. people. I don't even yeah. know how to cook for myself. I haven't watched this six million times. This one? I don't know what to do. I cleared yes. my whole day. Is that what this podcast used to be? Why did Fear I bring it back? The, <laughs> the, the good thing is that tacos really aren't that hard to cook. I've cooked them for myself before, so I'll just times it by 10. And I'll buy a bunch of beer and everyone will be distracted and drinking beer and to not realize how shitty the tacos taste. I don't know. Hopefully fucking Marcus will lend a helping hand because as of this point, I'm stressing. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit fast paced right now because I'm stressing out. I got to make sure this is good. You know, it's all because it's all because this. It's all because I got a crush on this girl and she's coming over. That's what it is. That's what it is. This is the things we do. The things we fucking do, you know. For people we have crushes on. I actually, I met her on Tinder and she, her opening line was Happy Taco Tuesday. <laughs> I'm joking. That didn't happen. But could you imagine? It would make sense, honestly, with my. So that. Yeah, I mean, I've seen that a million times, too. I love that video so much. Have I ever talked about when I heard that for the first time? No. Like in public? No. So I mean, you have, but. I had a big crush on Cody, obviously. <clears throat> And I knew he had a podcast, like he had mentioned it whenever I had met him, and <laughs> not Sounds like that. Cool dude. Or like in the in the in the few weeks. That's actually the I first thing him. he said. It was really weird. Podcast yeah, host. Cody, I have a podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, nice to meet you, Cody, from the podcast Insanely Chill, which is a podcast, by the way. It was not like that. You can find that wherever you get your podcasts. Anyway, so I was like. Okay, he has a podcast. I want to see what it's about. Like, what if he says something about me? But then I was like, he's obviously not going to. But I, you know, like a little narcissistic. And I was like, what if he talks about me? Because we had a crush on each other. And so I was driving to work and I had it on. And I still remember like exactly where I was, like on the freeway. And you you were talking about Taco Tuesday. And I was like so giddy. And then you said that. And I literally was like, oh my God, like screaming <laughs> by myself in my car, like holding onto the steering wheel, like, oh my God, oh my God. And I sent it to my friends and I was like, listen to this time. This is when he says, blah, blah, I was freaking out. I was so excited. And then when I showed up for Taco Tuesday, because did this come out like day of or after? Um, I forget. Maybe. There was I some, either I had heard it and so I thought he, he was talking about me, whatever. There was another girl at Taco Tuesday that I hadn't met that now I know is like a friend of yours, but I couldn't tell <laughs> if the girl you had a crush on, like after I when then when I heard you say I have a crush on this girl, I was like, oh my God, was it me or was it that other oh, girl that you brought? And so then I was like all confused. Who but was it? It was Rainy. Oh, yeah. Um, which is funny. Yeah, that is. Really but funny. um, yeah, so that's that. I heard that pretty much in real time. And it was like far before he was my boyfriend and I was like freaking out. I was so excited. So you can't remember if that was before Taco Tuesday or after? Like if I heard it, I don't, I don't think you like, I don't think you posted it like day of. I think you posted it after yeah, Taco I think Tuesday. I did so so, so Taco I heard Tuesday it, had already like, happened. Yeah. Okay. I think. It. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. I know. It was very cool. <laughs> that is cool. It was. It was cute. And then yeah, my friends and I listened to it like a few times. Just so you know. Uh, this next clip is just to show how much growth Cody has experienced <laughs> since saying I'm this. not even close to being at the point where I feel like I'd be ready to get married. <laughs> sure. Oh, my um, God. Like, I'm not. Like, I just I just started making my bed every morning. It's something I just started doing as a 26-year-old. Is doing what? My own bed. I just started. Oh, making my own bed. Um, Somehow he lost that. Like, I'm not. Like, I, just, I just started making my bed. Every morning. Something I just started doing as a 26-year-old. My own bed. I just started making it every morning as a, as a habit. I did. Can I did. I got again. I went through a period where so I did you that. You wake up before me. So. I do. And I unpack the dishwasher in the morning. I feed the pets. Totally. No, I know. I, neither of us make the bed. You do it sometimes. Sometimes I do. Yeah. Um, and you went through. And then we had that period where you were letting it breathe. 
Oh, I still would do that. The sheets breathe. You have to let the sheets breathe. And Has why? anyone heard about this? No, what it's is Because no one listens to Ryan Seacrest on FM radio in the morning except for <laughs> me. But I heard this from Ryan himself. And he said that there was like some study done where if you wake up and immediately um, make your bed, like all of the sweat and like the bacteria like stuff that comes off your skin in the middle of the night just gets like locked in your bed and so it like is really gross so you have to like let the light and like the air hit your sheets for a bit before you make your bed totally makes sense doesn't it so that you don't like break out it's just like gross like you, i don't care about like dirty sheets but okay. yeah i mean it's so you don't become uh the mold man <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my god! Did you wake up like that? <laughs> Damn! What a Good rough morning. night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then now we have we get into Kelsey's first appearance. Oh my god! Uh... Oh, what's up, guys? <laughs> that was perfect. Thank you. This is. Uh, I'm here. This is. Kelsey, she is my girlfriend. So it felt weird saying that. I felt weird. This is the first that. time I've ever said that on the internet. This is so weird. Ever. I'm his girlfriend. Um, she is indeed. And uh, um, I thought I you know, she was. <laughs> Why do you hate it? I don't know. See, it is weird now that you're in it. You're like, look how comfortable I am right off the bat. <laughs> now, do you remember like how this happened? Like, I think yes. we were just hanging out and you were like, why don't we do a podcast? No, I think we, okay, actually on our, so Cody and I, our first date was, the, our first date was like after Taco Tuesday, obviously. And then we had our first date and then we had our second date, um, like right, at, two, right in a row. Yeah, yeah, it was one night after the next. The next. Two nights in a row. Whatever the proper way is. Of yes. That. And then, I don't know if I should share this, but we had an extremely G-rated sleepover after the second date. <laughs> extremely G-rated, okay? Like, I'm surprised I didn't sleep on the couch. But then... Fra we didn't kiss or anything? Maybe we kissed. Okay. Like, it was, but it wasn't like... Okay. It wasn't like that, you know? After the second date. We woke up the next day. I started so coincidentally talking about Ryan Seacrest again. <laughs> and about how I listened to Ryan Seacrest in the mornings. So at least I've stayed true to myself over these past five years. True, yeah, true. But um, he does this thing called Ryan's Roses. And do you remember we listened to Ryan's Roses and we recorded ourselves reacting oh, to yeah. Ryan's Roses? Yeah. And, and like, why did we do that? Just for fun? I think we just thought it was fun. Yeah. And then you were like, oh, that was like pretty... That was fun. And I was like, yeah, that was fun. So I think that was like the introduction to us like being like a podcast couple, a podcast couple. <laughs> and then I was over. This is after that, obviously, maybe like a month after that or something. But I was over and you were like, OK, I had time before work. And you were like, I have to record the podcast. And I you, but like I didn't want to leave. And you yeah. were like, then why don't you just do it with me? Yeah. And, and like, you had okay. said too, like that you liked Ryan Seacrest so much, yeah. That you had always had a dream of being on the mic, yeah. And so I was like, well, we could just do that, yeah. And that's why we did that because yeah. just yeah. so you yeah. you could like yeah. hear yourself in yeah. the headphones and, and I stuff. I loved it, yeah. It's and really now look at us. Yeah, I mean, we should it's true. Bring back the Ryan's Roses reactions. <laughs> we should. Maybe we should make that a segment. Let's do it. Do you know what Ryan's Roses is? Um, <laughs> they. uh they basically call. Is this it? They yeah. call. They call someone's boyfriend or girlfriend. It I, is scripted. I think it is scripted, but I don't like to um, think about that. <laughs> it's time for Ryan oh, Rose's one hundred and two point seven like butter. FM. So listen in on this. Uh, we're gonna need to make some pivots Pause here. <laughs> Ryan, if you're watching this. Oh my god, Ryan secrets <laughs> <laughs> back off my girl bro no it's very platonic <laughs> you know i'm not like i don't think he's cute well he's handsome but no, like no, you i just love him yeah you he's just him. like one of my favorite celebrities yeah well, we gotta get him on the show <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's got time right his fucking schedule isn't insane he does like nine thousand yeah talk about pretty. someone who literally does nine thousand things <laughs> all know. remarkably well okay. i was just gonna say that <laughs> 
he really does and he does them all well my pod like for my podcast the like my guest list i have like a list of guests that and, I wish, and he's number one it goes ryan seacrest taylor swift and then like people i actually know he's I above like that. taylor swift he wow so we'll just in that on that list um because it seems like almost more doable wow dream big i guess and that's i'm not saying that sar- sarcastically i'm saying it's gonna happen i ryan. think i think it will I'm also gonna be. I'm gonna be on the, their their show. Their. <laughs> gonna be on their show one day. <laughs> you best believe it. Mm-hmm. And now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Listen, I go to therapy. I really like it. It's really helps me. Um, I like being able to, you know, hear and digest what's inside my head, and to have someone there to listen and to help me do that. Um, and I'm a worrier, so it's nice to have, you know, that there every week where I can kind of, you know, vent and try to find a solution to being worried and stressed. Um, It can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem-solving mode when faced with a challenge in life, but when you learn how to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling. A therapist can help you become a better problem-solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals no matter how big or small. Uh, It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. When you want to be a better problem-solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash chill today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash chill. Well, because you like who else on the show? All of them. Sissini, Tanya. Yeah. I love them but all. You, like, Mark, the podcast the that you listen to, Scrubbing In, yeah, that was one Tanya. of the ones that you listen Yeah, yeah, you like that one. Mm-hmm. Um, and Tanya and Becca. Yeah. Didn't we go to like we her, <laughs> her like meetup one time or something like that? Who was that? Tanya and Becca. Yeah, they had like a... They had like a meet and greet. They had like a meet and greet and we went... <laughs> She really wanted to go, that so was I was embarrassing. like, okay, I guess. But then, like, now I'm friends with one of them. Yeah. So. Yeah. Dream big. Dream big. Shout so out, So we Becca don't have to Tanya. listen to Ryan's Roses, but, like, the gist is that they call someone's, like, boyfriend or girlfriend as a flower company, and they're like, hey, uh, we're off. You won some free flowers. We're like, a new some flower sweeps. shop. Oh, yeah, no, we're no, a new, we're flower, a new shop flower shop in, in town. your area. Yeah. We just, uh, we were doing, like, a promotion to get word of our business. Um, so we're sending a free dozen roses to whoever you want. All we need is their name. I don't need any credit card in- info. She says the whole thing. And then they're and the like. Other, their partner is also on the line just listening. listening. Oh, okay. And so the person obviously, sometimes they send it to their wife, but usually they send it to someone else. And then eventually like the other person comes on. They're like, who the hell is that? Yeah. It's really fun. And then Ryan gets all like, Really? Really, he gets all mad at the other. It's so fun. He gets all <laughs> pissed off. It's so fun. You know, I don't think that's the point here. He does a lot of those. Uh, Getting mad at the actor who's just playing <laughs> yeah. his part. He's making forty bucks to do it. <laughs> he's making a, a day rate. Yeah. Yeah, non-union job. It's like, hey man, I'm just I'm just reading the lines here. Stop. Ryan. Oh, you you think well, you think you're better than everyone, huh? You think you're better than her? I'll let you know something. You can't do better than her. You never will, and you're gonna die alone. He's like, what the hell? I don't know. I feel like some of them are real. Just let me live, okay? God. Some of them might have been real. I think back in the day, some were real, and then everyone started catching on. Yeah. Oh, be- yeah, right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's watch the next one. Or wait. Are we still, are we still on this one? Yeah. Yeah, this is a second clip. This okay. one's like a minute and a half um, that I had in mind. But yeah, let me know if you want me to pause it or whatever. It's very sweet. See? She's already a fucking natural. I listen. Do you? I did. Did you listen to the most recent one? I've, I've like, I've listened. To like a lot of them? To a few. What's been your favorite? This is news to me. What's been your favorite one? <laughs> the one I, I went back in time. Okay. And which one did you listen to? The Taco Tuesday one? Oh my God. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Everyone was asking about it. Everyone was like, oh, is this Taco Tuesday I'm girl? I'm blushing. So this is Taco Tuesday girl. To every to all the Chodester Bay fan pods that are listening right now, this is Taco Tuesday girl. This is her. This is the girl I was trying to impress. It and worked. clearly it fucking worked. I mean, this is weird. This is really weird. This has come full circle. I didn't even think about that. And I didn't even think about saying anything. But it's like, this it is- It has come full circle. This and is cool. Maybe this is the whole, maybe- <laughs> Wow. Never Don't mind. I was going to say something so fucked up. 
What? No, it was like mean, was mean fucked up. Me. Yeah. What it am I going to say? And it wasn't about you. I was just like, maybe, maybe this is how, maybe this is just how like mastermind I'm being about the podcast. It, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm you kidding. Don't, you don't actually. <laughs> I'm kidding. Wow, we're having, this is all a, a big time. fucking. <laughs> 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 this is all just a segment. I'm. So, I can I'm tell that you liked me because you're you're laughing a little too hard. Well, it's joke. crazy, like how confident I am that I'm just laughing at that. Like you, yeah, you don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> yeah, it's good that you were confident in in that relationship. <laughs> yeah, otherwise you'd be like, "Wait, is this know. like a bit?" Like, yeah, the fuck? that's hilarious that you would ever even joke about that. Yeah, damn. This is I like my favorite parts okay. of this right now are just us talking. Like watching these clips is a little is a little difficult. Yeah, it is really cute, and like I like it. it. Is hard. I don't like watching this old version of myself. Yeah, I mean, you have to like. Have to have some grace towards. Yeah, yeah. Just, I'm, I'm kind look of at you. douchey. I'm kind of douchey. Look at my yeah, hair. Yeah, you grew. No, I know. I mean, look at mine. At least chilling. I like know how to get ready now. It's crazy that I just tossed my hair into that little thing. And I liked it. I was like, my I favorite know. thing about you when I first met you was your hair. And now right. look at me, slick back, all business. I'm just kidding. It's just really. Crazy. I say this to you all the time, but but I remember thinking this girl's really cool because her hair is curly, and you like you just you're rocking it. And I just went so with the style. You're wearing a cutoff Frank, Frank Sinatra, Sinatra shirt. Mug shot shirt. Yeah, and a choker. Mm -hmm. A little black choker <laughs> with the hair and the eyes. I was like, this girl is the coolest girl I've ever met. Okay, yeah. and in my head, I didn't have time to straighten my hair. And I was like, fuck. I'm going to look so stupid tonight with this stupid curly hair. And then you that was what you liked the most about me. Yeah. And oh. when I met Cody, he had bleach blonde hair. And that's what you like the most about me. And every day you ask me, can you please bleach it again? Yeah. <laughs> you go, Ugh, another day. <laughs> Brunette. <laughs> another day with a brune. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I thought Cody had the most beautiful eyes I had ever seen as well. well thank you, but I don't, I don't really think my eyes are that great. But uh, there was, I was surprised. I when can you still said that the other see, day. I can still see like you walking into my apartment for the first uh -huh. time and me being like, well, I'll tell you this, for the wedding, I will bleach my hair for you just because it goes with the wedding. You know, I'm going to be wearing probably a white tux, please. so I should have white hair. Please have, please have oh. bleach blonde hair for our wedding. Okay, done. I would love that so much. Fine. Twist my arm. I'll do it. The second time he bleached his hair, when we were like living together, he had a full breakdown after you did it. I did. Yes, I yeah, did. Yeah. yeah. Because... She f she fucked it up yeah, she royally. Well, with bleaching your hair, especially going from a brunette to bleach, it's not an easy process. You have to make your hair yellow, essentially, and then you have to potentially bleach it again, and then you have to tone it until it looks like platinum. You don't want yellow blonde hair. This is all things like I've learned along the way. Because it looks like piss. Like, it just looks like a cheap job. Mm-hmm. But she actually, she was trying not to like ruin his hair forever. So she like didn't want to do another round of bleach. Yeah, she was like, the integrity of okay, his okay. hair will be lost. Like she was like, she was trying to like look out for you in the long run, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she yeah. fucked my whole life up for like a month. It was like, <laughs> you, went, you went to another salon the next day and got another bleach. No, I didn't. I had to. I did, but it still didn't fix it. And then I had to go on vacation right after. Oof. And I, yeah, anyways, long story. Hair trauma. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to bleach it again for the wedding. And someone just, an older, who who bleached their hair recently? It was like um, one of the, um, it was, one of the. Uh, no, it was Patrick Dempsey. Patrick Dempsey. Yeah. And I looked at him and I was like, I mean, if he can fucking do it. He can't. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. He really can't. I thought it looked pretty sick. I just think that he shouldn't have done that. Oh, yeah. It's like, if my man is still going, no, but, bleaching his hair and going blonde at age, what, 60? But he, or how old is he? He just, it looks like, I, he looks 30 like he's is got, not too old. looks like his hair is gray, right? 
He's 56. 56. I think he looks like a silver fox now. Which is fine. It is fine. So, anyways, let's uh, move on to the next clip. This is this is something I didn't even consider. I didn't even consider the fact that when this became my career, that potentially I would meet someone and they would Google me and a song called Keep Your Dick Fat would come up, which is, is that it's something true. that also happened? I didn't Google you. I don't know. But like, I've Googled you. You have? Oh, yeah. What have you come across? No, I didn't Google you. Oh, I was I like, didn't. what the hell? Um, no, but I looked you up on Facebook yesterday and I almost added you. <laughs> yesterday? <laughs> and I was like, I'm not going to add her. I don't know. It's weird. Oh, my God. <laughs> I literally did. I'm not even kidding. I was sitting, waiting for the kids to get done with circus. <coughs> and I was. The sentence I never Facebook thought I would hear myself <laughs> say again. <laughs> What is a circus? Waiting for the kids to get done with circus <laughs> what a, is wild. What is a circus class? They like learned how to like be like go on like trapeze and stuff. Oh, okay. Sounds fun. Yeah, they hated it yeah. though. Oh. But it was fun to watch. They learned how to tame lions. Yeah. <laughs> Just like kid stuff. Right. You know? <laughs> Just ultra dangerous. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You walk in, they're like 30 feet up on a tightrope, like <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna want to tuck your knees in the cannon. <laughs> Mom, I don't wanna do this. Yeah. You will be a circus act. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my dream, Mom. That's your dream. Miss Kreppel said I don't have to do this. <laughs> Um, should we move on to vegan cheese? Yeah, sure. Episode? Let's do it. I remember this one. It's all he's, he's I mean a nice a nice note. He actually said I was um I was eloquent and well spoken, which I don't agree with at all. Would I you? do. I definitely think you are. I think I forget. See? Nice. <laughs> I'm just filled with good jokes, this one. I think you are. I think you sound smart when you talk. I like listening to you talk. Oh. What the hell? Thank you. Damn it, now I'm blushing. So it's hot in here, Jesus. <laughs> Do we pause it? What do we got going on? What is this? I don't this? think it's... The ripped jeans are pretty... Wait, Cody, why do we both have ripped jeans <laughs> You're on? busting out of those, dude. <laughs> yeah, um, also, they're two sizes too small. Mine are. You got some thighs. Yeah, I'm uh, busting no, out of those. No, it's really like... I'm leaking <laughs> out of those <laughs> jeans, man. <laughs> I just want to right. point out Kelsey's been holding her hand in the center here for like ten seconds, waiting for you to extend. Oh Jesus! I think I do think I you do, do catch it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> anyway, we other things. What that is we the got? bracelet? I think we, somebody sent right? me that to the PO box, and I put it on as a joke. But it kind of looks like it fits this outfit. It does. <laughs> I don't know if it's in this clip, but you do take it off, and you're like, "This bracelet gave me hives." Look, <laughs> do you remember this at all? <laughs> no, I remember that. <laughs> you throw it away. <laughs> But it just imprinted on your skin. Like, it didn't give you hives. Like, it was just, like, it left, like, a little mark on oh, your skin. I'm not a doctor. So true. People are wondering. I love vlogs. I want to vlog. What if you guys think, think that Kelsey should vlog? Drop a comment. What? If you guys think Kelsey should vlog, <laughs> drop a comment. Oh, I did not get what you... The first part of what you said was just, well, if you guys think Kelsey should vlog. Oh, sorry. I'll enunciate. If you guys think that Kelsey should vlog. <laughs> I don't, but it's, they wouldn't. Or do YouTube in some, they wouldn't, to some extent. I want to just sit in my car and talk. <laughs> like your favorite person. Yeah. Emma. Our her child. Name? What's her name? Emma Chamberlain. Emma Chamberlain. Aww. She's a big fan. and Oh, you know her name. She, no, I know her name. I was just you just wanted to, me to say yeah. it? Yeah. We're going to have her on the podcast probably. If you guys don't watch her, Definitely. she's a really funny YouTuber. Oh, my God. Um, wow, that's so crazy. We're, yeah, we're going to have her on the podcast eventually. Yeah, we, we are. Time. It's very exciting. Is she just like kind of related. I mean, it is related, but just today. But we, we've been friends with Emma since then. She came on the podcast and then... I was just talking to her yesterday. She was like already obviously blowing up on YouTube, but like since then, she's just like now in the stratosphere. Yeah, she's like, she's like an A-list celebrity, celebrity now, yeah. and uh, we've just been been really good friends with her ever since. And today she posted she she bought this new house a while ago, and she's been redoing it. She's redoing it for like so long. For a long time, yeah. And um, 
finally today she like architectural digest did an article about the finished product and it's fucking so sick unreal her it's house so it is sick. so cool one of the coolest interior designs i've ever seen yeah yep. which which is in character for her i feel like she's got pretty immaculate taste yeah um when it comes Aww. to this stuff like her old house was cool too yeah super cool whoa how sick yeah it's like pretty perfect damn that's a bathroom it's yeah, so yeah go down to cool. the kitchen the kitchen is oh, what the hell i know so cool. it's so cool god damn it that's cool have you guys been over not yet no. but we were supposed to go over like a week ago yeah incredible so congrats to her congrats em Oh, our celebrity passes. Yeah, I want to know if they're still the same celebrities. Okay. Wait, I'm going to guess who I say. Yeah. Allison Brie? Yeah. You got who, it. Who do you say? Harry Who's, Styles? Couldn't tell you. Ryan Seacrest? It, no. it might. Oh, my God. Wait, it might Styles be. It on might stage be. With them? Shoot me in the face. <laughs> That's <laughs> the way to do it, this Victoria's is, this Secret. Is, this is who Shoot stop. me in the face? This is who I I feel threatened by the, the, the celebrity. Not that I'm a celebrity, but I'm saying like, you know, you every relationship, it's the one like, all right, you get a celebrity pass or whatever. Yeah. Not that we do. No. Because you fucking <laughs> Was that a phrase? Sure. Yeah, you don't either. Is that a phrase that people use back then? Shoot me in the face? Or is that just my, is that a uh, Shoot me in the face. Ah, shoot me in the face. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, mine would be Allison Breed, so just... Oh, okay. It's not gonna, but you know, if you you said I don't get a pass, so. no. Okay, so it would be Allison Brie though. Would be so. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Yep. Um, mine would be Harry Styles. Okay, yeah. No, Harry Styles or Twenty One Savage. That's what I, was I just like his voice. <laughs> I'll be in the mess, talking super. <laughs> I just, I don't know. He comes in post. Do you want me to open this? Yeah, can you? <laughs> sure. Hang on. <laughs> Cody's assistant. I'm gonna double mic it up for a second. That's wow, like, that's way louder. That's uh okay so harry styles yes would still be mine yeah but you, what's so crazy is that like i i wouldn't say i look like allison brie but we have similar features and you and harry styles have similar features she, you're the only person that says that but no I really jenna appreciate agreed it. with me yesterday or the oh, other day awesome. Well, you and Jenna are the only two people. That have no, and there's that. one picture of Harry Styles hugging someone, and it looks just like you. I swear. Seen, people have tweeted that at me before, so so that's that's cool. I and I'm flattered. Look at and us. Yeah, you do look like my celebrity crushes. As Allison, do you, Allison Brie and Alexandra Daddario. Oh, nice. Yeah, same. Yeah. Oh my god. Like the two of those? No, just just Alexandra Daddario. Yeah, yeah, I think Alice, Allison yeah. Brie is. A little more like unique of an answer. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. But they're both beautiful. So thank you. <clears throat> so then, so then uh, let's talk about the first. T oh, actually, we can watch. Yeah. Let's watch this first. Sure. Kelsey starts her YouTube channel. Great. Someone tweeted me and they were like, so you're just not going to like address the fact that there's no podcast today or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. This is me addressing it. I apologize. I booked a flight yesterday and I was on a flight back from Miami. And so I didn't, and I was going to do it when I got back, but instead what we decided to do instead, um, was go out for dinner at CPK because Kelsey, we had, we had to celebrate Kelsey here started a YouTube channel and Woo. her first video now is at like 25,000 views in a week. 29,000. Wait, really? Yeah. 29? Yeah. She's blowing up. This is actually for real. You, you got 10,000 views on your second video 11, in one day. 000. Okay. Well, <laughs> See, I can't even keep track. Look at this. This is this is hockey stick growth, baby. <laughs> this is, um, yeah. What is that? Never heard that. No, a hockey stick goes like this, and it's like that. That's uh, what hockey stick growth is. Yeah. Damn. It's a business term. I think it's a Canadian term. It is a Canadian <laughs> term Canadian. for sure. I've heard that in the tech world. It is. It probably does come from Canada, but I've heard that in the tech world. Like that's like a common phrase. We're gonna see that with this podcast. Hockey stick growth. Hockey yeah, we stick. Will. Growth. Let's hope. Let's I, hope. If not, shoot me in the face. If not, <laughs> shoot me in the face. <laughs> yeah, this is you talking about landing your first acting job. Was this the one? The so I went whatever? to Miami. I no. came back. I didn't go to Israel. I was supposed to go to Israel, and then I didn't go. And it's because I got a I got an acting job for 
Do we want to pause on that? You're supposed to go to Israel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I guess <laughs> it's so crazy that this was our life. Yeah, I know. What? I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm supposed to be going to Israel and then not going <laughs> to Israel. <laughs> it just feels like like I remember it all so well, but then at the same time, it's like it feels like so long. It really ago. does. Yeah. 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 They, Israel does this program where they like send you <clears throat> for free birthright. It's not birthright. It's like birthright for like influencers I, I don't know oh really yeah it's it's weird it's like a i forget what it's called but the the program or like the organization that does it but they send you for free and you just have to like document it <laughs> googled birthright for influencers <laughs> which i feel like is offensive in some way but yeah um yeah they send you and yeah you just basically have to and i wanted to see israel um mm -hmm. but i didn't end up going because i fucking landed a huge gig <laughs> huge gig it was like that one with those guys like on that web. Go 90. The sports show? Was it? You say it's for Go 90, but you can't say what Yes, it is. yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. so it's a show yeah. called Now We're Talking. Look that up. Yep. Because now it's on, you can you can watch it on Peacock or something like that. Or on uh, Netflix, I think. No. So it's got yeah, yeah, yeah. Tommy Dewey in it. He's from the, uh, the Hulu show called um, Casual. Love that show. Uh -huh. Great show. And him and Tug Coker, who's now a friend. Oh, nice. They both wrote and they wrote the show and starred in it. And I somehow got a role. So I got to act in a scene with them. Fucking awesome. Amazing. And now you can watch it on something. Where to watch, yeah. Click where to watch. Does it say? Go up again? Currently not available to stream. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. This <laughs> this guy makes me cry laughing almost every time he's on screen though. There was a lot of oh, yeah. really big like actors and also cameos like from athletes in the show. Yeah. Dude, the dude that I did a scene with was the guy that played Superman in some TV show. Clark Kent. In was there a TV was there a Superman TV show? Yeah, Smallville. I think he was in No, okay, not that guy. Let me look up. Oh, fuck, what was he in? Wait, 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 go back to IMDb for. Sorry, this is boring. I know, but I just want to just for my sanity. Click now. We're talking. Go to actors. Uh, scroll down. Hold on. Let's see. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> weird. What the hell? Damn. All cast and crew. And then, if you search my name, I think he'll be near me because we had the same number of scenes. <laughs> oh fuck damn we gotta cut all this damn you hate <laughs> you guys are like were you even in this show dog <laughs> so imagine, you did go to, was in this show imagine the trip it to israel like you, you could have had <laughs> <laughs> and instead you were doing this damn show um damn it why, why am i not credited now we're talking <laughs> why am i not credited in that show <laughs> it's okay no worries. What the fuck? No worries. They scrubbed you, man. They scrubbed me. I'm in it, but I'm just not credited, I guess, on the IMDb. But that's also because, like, IMDb is, that's, like, up to, like, you. You can just go on IMDb and just, like, put a credit in. Oh, yeah. Is that what you were doing on the phone just now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Check again. <laughs> yeah. I think I might have the lead yeah. role in this. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. <sighs> now we're Nice. Sorry. Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. I'm gonna shoot myself in the face for that. <laughs> um, all right. So then later, uh, Kelsey's about to go back to Calgary with you and meet my parents. Meet your parents for the first time. She's coming to Calgary, and then we're gonna be in uh, Montana for a little bit. Meeting the fam. See, I thought that's when and, you started um, your you YouTube channel in Montana. Um, I started at the beginning of December. Like and what was your what was your very first video? Um, I was just like driving around and like I went to get bagels and right. like a vlog. And did I get you the camera? For Christmas. Yeah. But I used your old camera until Christmas. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then I got you a new one? Mm -hmm. And I just found the card actually and it says like, it's like a really nice inspiring message. What does it's it say? A, it's, I don't remember, but it was like, this is going to be huge for you. I'm so proud of you. And then you cross it out and you said you should be proud of yourself. Aww. Because yeah. she told me that that's something that she tells her kids in school. It's something that you learn when you're like, it's like a 
something I learned in like my child development classes in college said that like, instead of saying, I'm so proud of you to a kid, you should say you're so proud. You should be proud of yourself to like instill them doing things for themselves and not like to please you. So I always try to tell people that they should be proud of themselves. I think it hits different. I've thought I've, I've, that is like singed in my brain now from that. That's great. We're, because we're both going to be saying it to our kids. Didn't I write that in your birthday card this yeah, year? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Because you should. And you I should. Thought you were, I thought you were going to oh, hold sorry. my house. Like, <laughs> no, I wanted okay. just one of those. Like this, okay. <laughs> this is oh, payback for one. Yeah, yeah, it's payback. I wear the pants now. <sighs> no, but you should. I should what? Your podcast. You're killing it. Oh, thank you. You should too. Check out Circle Time, by the way. Yeah. Thank um. You wherever you get your podcasts <laughs> and uh she's also Stomach killing it you didn't been doing couch to 5k yeah and today you had your hardest run yet i did when kenny saw me i was just walking but i swear i was running at other points well you were at the cool down no it was at the warm-up oh warm-up section. Mm -hmm. okay got it there i am doing that that's me right there that's you there you are yeah oh, oh really face before off. i shaved Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I've never seen you, you wear that running fit. Hmm? How far into it are you? I'm week four. Halfway through. It's the longest thing. Oh, this says nine weeks, but mine says eight. For anyone that really doesn't days. run at all and wants to start, this is the best way. Yeah, it, it has been. Um, my friend Emma and I are doing it together, and it has been like pretty helpful, but it's hard. Is today it? was hard. Like Today I was like... It should so that, be a little bit hard. You know? Yeah, that's how you know you're slow. like. Yeah, but the My next time my stomach is grumbling, so if they're picking up these sounds, <laughs> cut it out. Kelsey's you know what farting. I mean? It's grumbling. I didn't have a chance. Didn't have a chance to eat this morning. Sorry, I fucked up the. I didn't tell her what time we were doing this show. Not you don't. You didn't tell someone that the thing starts at nine thirty a.m. That's like that's no. Not but a I time told you, you this morning at six thirty a.m. that we were starting at nine thirty a.m. Yeah, and I was asleep. <laughs> When he told me. <laughs> so, hence why I was late. Okay, so I was going home. I was going to meet Cody's family. I was nervous about meeting your sister. I do remember talking about that. Up now, it's going to be like my Shut mom's up. probably going to meet. My parents are going to be nervous to meet you. I'm nervous to meet your parents now that they've seen me singing, maybe singing. Maybe they've, I don't know. I don't know. I should ask my mom. She's watched your videos. I mean, if they watch this podcast, then they'll be like, oh, Kelsey has a channel. Let's They're definitely going to watch this. But they say they watch this at... <laughs> They put it up. There's like a TV by my kitchen table and they eat dinner and they put up this podcast oh, and they watch it while they're eating dinner. Oh, that's so sweet. So shout out to you guys right now. Uh, if you're watching this at the dinner table, um, I'm guessing parent, you're eating some mode. sort of- I'm in parent mode. Um, spaghetti squash or some sort of salad, <laughs> some sort of dinner salad, I'm guessing. Uh, maybe with a, with quinoa or something in it. Um, that's what I'm guessing. They're, they like to eat that sort of I stuff. Oh man, I should have went, I should have tried to gross them out. That's what I should have done there. People might be eating, watching this. That's true. So piss, shit, microwaving, vomit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's, that worked. It worked. Microwaving, lobe, vomit. Lobe, mold man. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> a million teeth. A million lobe? teeth. Are you kidding? <laughs> it's way too soon for that. What is Cody makes a beat for him and Kelsey? Oh, what is no. this? You just cook something up for her in the lab. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show them the, the little beat that I made. Cody made a beat. <laughs> this is so, it's so song. bad. This I feel like this can't be for us, though. This is more. No, 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 no. This is just more of like a hardcore. This is our like, when we like, our couples. This is more more of our like, Cardi being offset type song. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like the, uh, what's the motorsport or whatever. They, the one that they just did recently together. I didn't know. I didn't know they did a song together. Yeah. So that's good. my little. That's my little beat. That, uh, I'm just. Again, that's how I know that you liked me. Because <laughs> you were like, "This is good. This is good. Nice work." Yeah, I made a beat. <laughs> it's I, fucking crazy. No, that, but like, Cody, I genuinely thought it was good. Like I Well, I think I was like, I wasn't like, "This is gonna. This is gonna be huge." But I was like, <laughs> "It's sweet that he's like made a beat." It's fucking crazy <laughs> that like I see on on TikTok all the time mm. videos about girls that are like yeah he just 
we went on a date and then he invited me home to like yeah. listen to his beats. Right. And I'm always like, who would do that? Well, this is so <laughs> different than that. I guess me. This is different. This is different. There was another sound bite in there where I think you mentioned that Cody had just downloaded Audition or something. Like he was just getting, you were, I think you were just getting started in your beat making. Okay. Too. Wow. Yeah. How crazy Kind of a cool is little origin. That's cool. Yeah. Also crazy that I was making a beat in Audition. Um, wait, was it a, um, I think Ableton, I think. Ableton, it was, sorry, yeah. it was Ableton, yeah. not Audition. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. What? Be nice. Was that not, I was just being sarcastic. Thank you, Kelsey. You're welcome, Kenny. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> You guys. Crazy. I don't know what the difference is. Wow. Geez. Audition. Huh. <laughs> Didn't know I made beats on there. I need this. <laughs> I need this on the show. Uh, this is the last thing I clipped. This is. Uh... Shut up, Kenny. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. I'm kidding. We'll just watch Ryan's Roses. That's what we'll do. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, this is uh, for all the chili heads out there. I think this is a, a chili chili heads? Uh, dog origin story. I think they're some of the cutest. You know, growing up, I always wanted a pug. Always. Mm-hmm. Always wanted a pug. Yes, you told me. Did I? Mm-hmm. But now now that we've you've been talking about golden doodles so much, it's mm-hmm. like now it's kind of stuck in this. It's fucking cute. It's their, their I mean. They're really cute. Because they're, so they're cute because you can tell they're like smart too. And they're fluffy. They're curly. I'm curly. It's like, you're curly? Yeah, I guess you are. It's like. There's something to be said about having a smart dog, a dog yeah. that's not shitty. You right. know what I mean? Right. I met a really shitty dog this weekend, and it was just like a, just like was just just selfish. You know? H- how so? This dog was just in his own head, and just fucking running around, not not caring about what kind shit. Of dog was it? Like some mix? I don't know. I think was it was like cute? a rescue dog or something. No, not really. Sort Little? of. No, it was cute. It was sort of cute. I think all dogs are like generally pretty cute. I think they're smarter. I mean, they're cuter when they're smarter. You know what I mean? Ah. Uh, Oh damn! Well now I guess we're ending. I'm ex- just, to, just to make it clear, I'm accepting. <laughs> I'm accepting. I'm accepting of all dogs. Dumb and stupid. Now I mean, dumb yeah, and stupid. I do. Cody's like heart for dogs has grown like so much. And just animals in general. Totally, he is a big animal guy now. Yeah. I think. Well, I mean, I think you are. I definitely am. I definitely am. I love. Yeah, I. I never thought that I would feel. Even when we got chili, I was like, I'm not, he's taking time away from what I want to do. And now if anything ever happened to chili, I would be a wreck. Aw. That's so sweet. I just, thinking about the fact that he is going to die one day makes me want to shoot myself in the face. (laughs) Stop. (laughs) It was almost so sweet. And now the cats too. I never, never liked cats ever. And I still don't really like ours. I don't think you like ours <laughs> okay, very <I'm> much. <laughs> I do like ours. They've just gotten particularly annoying the last two weeks. And but I don't know if they're going through a phase or what, but. I do just want to make it clear when we were. F- <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> she goes farting again. When we were uh, when we were fostering the cats, I was like, we do not need to keep them. We could find a beautiful home for them. 100%. And Cody was like, no, they're part of our family now. They are. So it is, I just want, it was your decision. Yeah. Because sometimes I'm like, was well, this my fault that we have these cats and they're waking us up in the morning? And then I'm like, no, actually. Yeah, no. It's I'll our take, fault. I will take credit for that. Um, well, they wouldn't be in our house in the first place if it wasn't for me. So I have to take some of the credit. Yeah, true. Um, so. What was I going to say? Cute oh, yeah. I was going to say, like, there are obviously times where, like this morning, where you're just like, or when they're jumping up on the counter and I'm trying to make food or whatever, you're like, like, why, why does this a thing? Mm-hmm. I don't want this right. in my life anymore. Right. But then <laughs> there are those other moments where you're sitting on the couch and they just come up. They don't want anything from you. All they want to do is be next to you, near you, just pressed up against your warm body. And that is just the best. Mm-hmm. Those moments are just like, God, nothing could be bad right now because this is just amazing. You know? I agree. So yeah. There we have it. Animal lover himself. And it's cool. Like <clears throat> the more you raise an animal or going through that phase mm-hmm. where they're like difficult and whatever, it's like you earn the the times where it's good. Totally. You know? It's always worth it. And like Chili, for example, has calmed down like crazy, right? Yeah. Like he was pretty high energy and rambunctious for like two and a half years. Yeah. And now he's just turned three and he's like totally changed. 
which honestly I kind of like miss. I know. I know. Because he likes to be by himself now. It's kind of like a sad change. He it like is sad. We'll just hang out in our room all day without us and stuff like that. But like but also he's like, way easier to deal with. Like but also, he doesn't want he doesn't need anything anymore. He just likes chilling. But last night, like he was crazy. He was playing. He was Yeah, we still all like over. play with him. Yeah. He still has those energy spurts. It's not as sure, frequent. But yeah, it's not all the fucking time. Right. Anyway, we're pet people now, apparently. <clears throat> yeah. Can't yeah. tell. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the dog cast. <laughs> So I think that's I think that's it. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to talk about um or should we plug Circle Time? Should we talk about Circle Time? Kind of did. Yeah, I think we already did. Go cool. check out Circle Time. Yeah. Um, we made the theme song for that together. We did. So look at that. The beat making the turned beat into making something. Turned yeah, into we something a, we've actually made multiple songs together. We have, and it's been a very enjoyable it's process. Always fun. Yes. And we all, always come up with something good. We do. We made a song about how Justin Bieber blocked me. It's called Why Did Justin Bieber Block Me? And it is so good, you guys. Seriously. It is fucking good. Hold on. Don't play what? it yet. Well, we're... Let, we have to finish. I want, I want a reason to, f- to finish this song. So I'm just going to play a snippet. Are there any finished ones we can end the show with? That we've made together? No, we've never finished one. Uh, There is, but the it's, chili it's on YouTube. The chili yeah. song. And it's a fucking good one. Have you heard that? It's good. It is a it is a good one. This is it? This is the chili song. Oh my god, look, just a baby. That's all he is. Chili gon' shit on me. I was thinking it'd be nice to me. Chili gon' poo and pee. All the places he's not supposed to be. Chili on my lap for a minute, oh. I guarantee you gon' be shitting up. Oh. I put him on his pad to pee. He finds another spot, then looks back at me. I'm thinking he's not gonna pee. Then he sniffs in a circle and bends his knee. Chili, why you playing me? I buy you all these toys and delicious treats. I'm aware this how you puppies be. I'm just begging you to share respectfully. We did have a fun time making that. <clears throat> this is huge that we're playing this. Hey, what you have? <laughs> Life comes at you fast. <laughs> Appreciate what you have. You be gone in a moment. <laughs> Never get it back. You don't know what you got till it's gone, so enjoy it while it lasts. Take a second. We had so much fun making this. You don't just let the minutes pass. That's the thing about life. I'm talking about life. It all goes wrong when you think that it's right. One second, everything's fine. And it could all change in the blink of an eye. Why did Justin Bieber block me? <laughs> what the fuck did I do, Justin? Yeah. Please unlock me. Instagram ain't the same without you there. Please, Justin. Justin. How many people are on that list, or is it just me? <laughs> okay, that's pretty much it. That's great. That's a great song. It, it, yeah, it's no. really good. Should I finish it? Yeah, you yes. should finish, we finish should. it. Thank you. I believe that we should as well. Yeah, we should. It was so I, much fun. Five hundred songs that are half done. We could work on that. Yeah, we should. All right, folks. Thank you so much for joining us for episode one, season two, episode one. Of insanely chill. I almost said circle time. <laughs> insanely chill. Manifesting. Yeah. Being a guest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hopefully one day I'm still, you know, I'm just, yeah, trying to earn some brownie points so that I <laughs> get to be a guest on your podcast. Um, So go check her out. <laughs> check me out. Not like <laughs> my fiance, so not like now, don't. Well, you know. check out her shirt and get it at co-official. Yeah, co-official.com yeah. yeah. if you want one of these shirts. They're really great. Yeah. This was really fun. This was so fun. I had a fucking blast. So fun. Uh, Thank you for having me on season two, episode one of Insanely Chill. This is going to be good, you guys. So make sure to listen to every single episode. You can get it on teamgstudios.tv. 
if you want to get this ad free. And uh, if you want to get it ad full, mm -hmm. then you can listen on Spotify, Apple Music, or Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts, or on YouTube. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye. Hold on, this is not actually the end. Uh, there's some bonus footage here of us just kind of talking, uh, chilling. Thought it was a nice little conversation before Kelsey got on set, so uh, enjoy. You know, I wasn't going to ride my bike to work yesterday. Yeah. And uh, I finished a bunch of emails and stuff at home. I needed to go into the studio, and I was like, all right, I'm going to just drive because it's going to be a crazy day. Beast is coming in. And I was like, let me – you had a new video out. New Cody Trains video. Yeah. And I was like, I got a couple minutes before I leave. Let me just put this on, see what it does. And I watched it. And I was like, fuck, I got to ride my <laughs> bike to work uh, now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Did you like it because the video? Yeah. It just it's feels like that one especially, I was like kind of nervous about it because it's the third episode, right? That's usually when like the initial, you know, excitement traffic starts to kind of wear off. Mm. And people start to like settle into, okay, what, these what are these videos going to be like? So that one I thought was an important one, and it's like boring. It's just me and my car talking about training. There's barely any training footage. Yeah, but you, like, anything that's like people training will get others motivated. Yeah, it's especially if it's someone you like like to watch or you know or whatever. I yeah. can't believe, like, the impact this is having, just from just like anecdotally from other people that come up to me in in public and are like, "Dude, I love Cody trains." This morning at the Ocean Swim. One of the guys that was in the group with me, like, you know, this is like 40 minutes into the swim and we're like finished one of the circuits and we're up on the beach. You're like midwater. And he was, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Videos. You're from Cutting Train. <laughs> choo choo. No, we're out on the beach and he's like, bro, Cody trains. And I was like, no, this is the first time someone's like called me that in public. Damn. Like he was like, Cody trains. Cody Trains, which is the whole reason why I named it that because I thought I had a really nice ring to it. And I was like, this would be a good, like in the future, this could be a good, you know, first of all, it's a funny joke, right? The train thing, like lean into that. But it also yeah. could be like a good, it's just like an easy thing to say, right? When people are like, oh, you should sub to Cody Trains. Cody Trains, Cody Trains. Yeah. So he was like, Cody Trains. And I was like, oh, fuck. You know, he's a, my age probably. And he was like, dude, I love that shit, man. Fucking so motivating. I signed up for Iron Man because of you. I was like, damn, Whoa. really? He's like, yeah, I wasn't going to do it. And then I just fucking watched your video and I was like, I have to do it. So I signed up for an Ironman, for a full Ironman. I was like, holy damn, fuck, dude. That's way more like motivating than I, because in my head I was like, <laughs> when I watched one of your first ones, I was like, maybe I will sign up for Marathon. And I was like quickly like, no, 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 it's not. It's so much running. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, you start, the point is you start with something, like as long as it, motivates you to do something yeah but even that i'm surprised i'm having that or these videos at least are having that effect on people like like it's just me like a lot of the times i'm just in my car and i'm like this is so stupid like no one's gonna want to watch me talk about the fucking workout they want to see footage of it or or they want something a little bit more exciting or funny and so i'm just kind of like yeah another one done whatever but it it's really has an effect it, dude it's the small stuff and i've told other people this you probably don't even realize this but in, i think in your first video or it's maybe on your main channel video. You said like you were talking about how hard it is to uh, run trails and like it's way harder than just running outside because outside you can just kind of zone out. And you said that and you're like, you can't do that when you're running trails. You have to like watch your feet. And in my head, that clicked something, that little throwaway line of like outside you can just zone out. I was like, man, you can't just zone out when you go outside. Why don't I zone out? Why don't I just run and zone out in the next five days i ran every day and when i started i was like just zone out really just fucking zone out yeah Damn. and then i ran i only ran two miles because i'm fucking out of shape but i ran and i just tried <laughs> I to ran like, directly zone out. into oncoming traffic <laughs> <laughs> i thought around. i gotta be zoned in it's a little that. bit more than that i gotta be maybe 10 percent more zoned in <laughs> but it's those little throwaway lines that you probably don't even know you're saying yeah and other people are like Fuck, that like resonates some. That's way. really cool. That's really, really cool. Yeah. That's really cool to hear. And uh it just makes me want to keep doing these. I do wanna I do definitely do want to like make them more exciting. But it's good to know that I think, you know, it, on YouTube at least, like the most important thing is just consistency. Mm -hmm. And I like sometimes I don't know, it's a balance, you know? Yeah. You don't want to just keep putting sh 
dumb shit out all the time. Yeah. That's not going to do anything. But so you do have to focus on quality a little bit. But it's also just like yesterday I was like, I got, or a Monday I was like, I want to make sure that every Monday I have one of these so that people can start their week with, with this. So I'm going to put this one out, even though there's not a lot of great footage. It's mostly just me and my car. And just like YouTube, it's about consistency. Working out is the same thing. It's about consistency. Yeah. And so if like, yeah, it's not every day is going to be exciting when we work out as like normal human beings. Yeah. So to see that it's the same for you, it's like, it's not exciting. It's just, I'm fucking going through it. It's this. Oh man, this morning sucked ass. I didn't sleep at all. And this beach workout, like the ocean swim starts at like 615. Mm. So it's like, and if I don't pack my bag the night before with my speedo and all that shit, it's like, you got to get up at five. I set my alarm for 545. And then of course, Somehow the cats know when I set my alarm and they're, they say to themselves, to each other, they're like, okay, he's got his alarm for 545. So when do we start scratching? 515. You know, it's always 30 minutes before the alarm. <laughs> I know it is. I'm so stupid. Sorry about that. It's okay. That's the conversation they have outside my door in the morning. <laughs> and so they're waiting there, just waiting at the door, right? And then they're looking at their watch and they're like, <laughs> all right, ham. It's 5.15. You know what to do. Let's get it. Just this. Ripping the carpet. There's a little fucking hole of ripped carpet just right in the corner of the door. And then they stick their paws under the little thing. <laughs> 5.15 a.m. <laughs> I was like heated in bed. like So I couldn't sleep. Go to bed too late, and then and then five fifteen. Okay, it's time. Let's get, let's get it. And it's on my like, fuck. So I get to the beach, and I'm just like not in the mood at all. But like that's that's always the best when you so don't want to do it. And then the first, for some reason, that always makes the first mile or the first lap or the first whatever like way more enjoyable for some reason. I get runners high like way sooner when I really don't want to run because it's like, oh, fuck, I'm, I'm doing it. Now that I'm started, I know I'm not going to stop. So like I did it. Mm. I don't know. It's awesome. So uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm happy I did it. I still felt like shit the whole time, but like I'm just happy I got out there and did it. And uh, there's once the swimming in the open ocean. Is she coming up? Oh, she Ooh. could be. We'll pick this back up later. <laughs>